So it's been over 27 years since Everton have last won a trophy. And I won't be surprised if they go the three decades. We've never done a rebuild on them, so it makes sense. We're going to do Everton and we're going to completely rebuild them. If you guys haven't seen one of these rebuilds before, the rules are really simple. We can't play a game but the Champions League final. They all have to be simulated and we have to win the Champions League final to complete the rebuild. That's it. Two really simple rules. Along the way, we'll probably win an FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Premier League. The goal is to win the Champions League. And if you do go on and enjoy today's video, leave it a thumbs up. The like of today's video will be 80 likes. Let's make it that. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell on so I don't miss a future video. And to get straight into this rebuild, I have sorted out the team. I didn't realize how weak this really was. I mean, it is a strange side. It's got a lot of strange players in it. And we've got around about 60 million, 150 can the wage budget to spend in this first window. Of course, we will have some players going out the door. This is how the team's looking right now. It will definitely change. In 10 minutes, this will be completely different. First player to leave the club is Fabian Dalf for 3.5 million pounds joining French side Marseille. And we also have Rondon leaving for Burnley for 6 million. This guy may have signed in the summer, but still, it is gone. He's off to the Burnley, the bloody Burnley. Real Sociedad signed Gilfie Sigurdsson for 12.2 million pounds. Unfortunately, I keep missing these transfers in the news. I, I'm going for the calendar too quick you'll be surprised about this one but barcelona are in for a striker dominic calvert has signed for barcelona for 45 million pounds now this is an exciting signing our first signing of this rebuild first signing of season one kuna kunya have you say his name 36 million pounds is the fee Brings in from Atletico Madrid, exciting number 10 signed up. I felt we're lacking quite a bit of depth out wide or some quality out wide. So Murciala, 29 million from Bayern Munich, brings the 18 year old to Goodson Park. This is a very exciting signing. You can tell by the fee, his age is a good player. He's gonna be a really good player out on the left. Okay, these are the two players we have in the youth academy. <laughs> We have a problem with the first one is that he's 17 and he's 23 rated. He's, he is 23 rated. Ah, oh, I feel sorry for this guy. You know, he has some good potential, but unfortunately, mate, you're, you're 23 rated. Now, this is a signing we really needed. Colmert at right back. I think he's 32 or he might be a bit older than that, but he's getting on. He's going to decrease in rating and we don't have much depth there. So Montiel from Sevilla, 27.9 million. This guy is going to be a really, really good right back for us. I'm saying it. So with players going out the door and players coming in, this is how the squad is looking right now. We did call back Keane from Juventus as we did get rid of Calvert-Lewin. Richarlison, we have him up top. I didn't really want to play a formation with two strikers. I wanted to play a 4-2-3-1, especially this is a big, big season we want to pick up points and i uh, wasn't too confident going with anything but a 4-2-3-1 we might make one more signing i'm not going to say what position we might make one more signing in this window if we can get a player to go out the door but if not we'll make that signing in january we do have a bit of money left so we have depth the depth just isn't very good that that's all looking at our objectives we actually have one which is sign Three players from South America, and we've done two. We've we've signed two. Montiel and Cunha, the, the cam. They want us to finish top four and get to a final of the Emirates FA Cup. They're going big. They're going big. They've got the man to do it. They've got the man to do it. But I'd expect Europa League, you know, semi-finals. That'd be good. But no, they're going big. Fair enough. Now, this is a really good signing. Jesse Lingard from Manchester United, the 28-year-old, is coming to Goodison Park for £14.5 million. Pounds. So it's transfer deadline day here, and we've spent £107 million, £66 million going out the door, or players going out the door. We might do some business in January. We've played three games in the Premier League, and to say the least, it's a typical evidence start. Two draws, one loss. Uh, we have some winnable games coming up. Well, you never know. We're evident. We should be winning them, but we might just draw or lose them. Going to January, I reckon in the league, I'm going to say ninth. 
I think we're going to be ninth. I would always go a lot higher than that, and they want us to get top four. But why am I being so negative, actually? Ninth. Right, let's go to seventh. We're going to be seventh in the Premier League. Right, we're in January. I, I've, I've gone out the calendar and gone straight to this tab because we've had some good results. So I've seen some good results. So I'm really excited to see where we are. All right, let's just look up here. Let's go across. I think this is the league table. We're seventh. Right, okay. I got it right. I thought we were going to be in the top four, to be honest. We're three points off from being fifth or sixth on goal difference level with points with City, who are fifth. Spurs top of the league. You know, they seem to be good in career mode. But eight points off top four, which is, which is Chelsea. That's frustrating. I thought we were doing really well, but apparently not. This is the growth of the players. Cunha gone up to, um, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. 82 rated, Jesse Lingard still 79, 7, 79 for uh, Musiala out on the left. The team is looking good. Pickford 85 rated. Okay. Richarlison 84. Montiel 80 rated. The stats, top goal scorer in January is Richarlison. 11 goals, 5 assists, 8 goals, 6 assists for Gunnar. I'm going to call him that. Kuna. So he's been a good signing. He's having a very good season. Muziala, three goal contributions in nine. That's all right, I guess. Lingard, one goal in 11. That's not great. That really isn't great. So transfer deadline day, January 31st. We've had a good January results wise. We, it, yeah, we're not signing anyone. <laughs> we're not signing anyone. The one player I kind of wanted to get an offer for, it's just not happening. So we're not bringing in another winger. And I've just seen Southampton have gone and bloody signed him. Right, great. That is not helpful at all. You know, in January, we're going to have to find someone else to make our, uh, our number one target. But let's focus on the league. Let's get top five. You know, Europa League, I'd be happy with. But to please the board, let's go and get top four and, and really rise the standards and, and go for Champions League football next year. We finished sixth. We finished sixth. We had some insane results in the calendar. Spurs won the league with only 83 points. And, and we finished sixth with 68. Eight losses, 11 draws, and 19 wins. So we get Europa League football. In fact, we've definitely got Europa League football because we've won the FA Cup, ladies and gentlemen. We've won eight trophies between Newcastle and... And evident that that sounds a good FA Cup final. That sounds like a very good FA Cup final. Uh, so there we go. It took 27 years, or 28 years. Carbo Cup. Uh, we've made a name for ourselves. I mean, semis of the Carbo Cup. No one really cares. Won the FA Cup. That's great. Sixth in the league for Everton. You know that the fans are excited. Hopefully, they're watching some attractive, good. Football, and now we've got some exciting players with potential, and uh, next season is even more exciting than this season, and we should achieve bigger stuff. Wow, looking at this squad, wow, it has grown in rating, except Townsend. I mean, we could have played Iwobi, he probably did play over him, I'm not sure. But let's look at the stats who got top goal scorer, Richarlison, of course, he did 23 goals, seven assists, 30 goal contributions, and 50. Great season. 19 and 14 for Kenya. What a season. What a signing. Uh, Maziala, 13 goal contributions in 31. He's had a great season. 14 goal contributions for Allen. That's a centre defensive midfielder who is told to stay back whilst attacking. That's good. 11 goal contributions for Decore. 14 for, D for uh, Dinye. 10 assists. And he's also told to uh, stay back whilst attacking. 5 goals. A Lingard. We've had a good season. Many players have had a good season as well with their stats. I mean, if you don't mind, if I can try and get 10 million for uh, for Townsend here from Frankfurt. Accept it. 9.2. We'll take that. He'll be going. That's it. Abuse the mate. He'll be going at the start of the summer. I don't always mention, but the players who are out on loan, Tom Davies has grown by three. That actually makes him playable. That is massive. Gordon has grown by four at Monaco, 73 red. It's the play. You have a good young player. You're not going to play them. Put them out on loan. I love the fact they grow. I bet they haven't even played. That's just FIFA. <laughs> he's grown by three and he's played no games. Gordon uh, is played none, grown by four. It makes no sense, but it's EA.
Last bit of business off season two is Michael Keane going to the bridge for 26 million pounds. Okay, there's no doubt about this one. This is a massive signing. We have Jude Bellingham joining Everton from Brescia Dortmund for 63 million pounds, which to be fair, it's actually a good deal, 63 million. They, we could have got him for like 80, but 63 million it is for the 19 year old English lad coming to the Goodison Park at Sidingdale. Newcastle sign your Amina for 28 million pounds. The 27 year old is going to St. James's Park. That is our two main center backs we mained last season gone now, which is big. We have Godfrey and we have someone else, forgot his name, but we definitely will be dipping our toe into the market for center backs right now. Brescia Dortmund have signed Andre Gomez for a fee of 13.1 million. He's actually stepped up, hasn't he, by going to Dortmund. Good signing for him, for him. I'm not sure for them. Not really too sure about that. Don't really know what they're doing. They may not have got top four last season. I don't know. Why are they going for Gomez? We have a new center back and it's Inacio from Sporting for 39 million pounds. The 20 year old, he is that young, 20 years old. Signs for evident. And I would say this is an improvement on Mina and the other dude we have. Backup left back Hickey signs from some club in Italy for 7 million pounds. Backup, backup center back Morado signs. Again, from Portugal for 15.7 million pounds. He's 21. He's 75 rated. I'll probably just put him out on loan because I've, as you have seen last season, you put a player out on loan and they grow by 3-4 ratings without playing a game. Right, here's a big match. Community Shield. Another opportunity to get a trophy. It took 28 years. And we've won another. Get in, Richarlison. We have won the community shield against Tottenham. Now, this is something nice to see. We buy Morado from a Portuguese club. I mean, I don't know who it was. Let's just say it was Sporting. I'm now thinking it was not Sporting. It was Benfica, wasn't it? It was Benfica. Okay. No, no it's not nice. It's the complete opposite, to be, to, to be fair. But he goes back to Portugal for a two-year loan. Hoffenheim signed Damari Gray for £17 million. We need to raise funds because... We have a right winger about to come straight through the door. And we need fans. And here we go. We have signed the right winger. Sigankov is the replacement to Maduki, who we were going to sign, but he went to Southampton. 24-year-old, 32 million. If you watch the Leicester series, you're going to be excited, just like me, because this guy was good. And if you are wondering when the next career mode series will be out, it's, it's been like a month since we've had consistent uploads. That is coming. I, I will be sorting that out in the next couple of days. As the game crashes once again, I'm not too sure if we'll be doing a, a poll or I'm just deciding it, but that series should be out in the next week or so. So this is how the side is looking right now with us doing a load of business so far in season two. We could get top four. In fact, I'd be expecting us to get top four. If not fifth, close to top four you know what i mean you just look at it and even the depth the the, the depth the depth off the bench is good as well i'm excited about this season and i'm very excited about playing with this team by the time we get to a champions league final which won't be this season because we're in the europa league um which we could look to win that to get top well champions league by the time we get to champions league this side would have probably have changed a lot more so transfer deadline day, summer, window, season two, 141 million is what we spent. 85 million on the players who went out the door. Busy window, good window, as I said, expecting top four. So we'll see where we are in January. It's no point looking at the Europa League group. It's the Europa League. We're sick, okay? We're sick January 1st, 38 points, two points off. Four, which is Chelsea. Six losses, two draws, and 12 wins. I mean, six losses. Little concerning. 51 points. Manchester United are on top of the league. And this is how the squad is looking. Not too much growth, I'm saying. Pickford, 87 rated. I mean, that is insane. Top goal scorer, Richarlison, 21 goals to assist. That is great in January. 10 goals, 7 assists. 17 goal contributions for 
Kona in January. Uh, seven and five for Sigankov. Five goals. That's better than uh, last January. Well done, Lingard. Five goals in 13 for Musiala. I'm not too sure why he's only played 13 games. Perhaps an injury. Europa League is um, is is good. Okay. You know, so played played six, five wins and one loss, 15 points. And in uh, in the next round, we're not in it. January of season two, I, I really don't think we're going to be making any any business, any signings, any deals, players going out the door this January. So we're just going to leave it there. In the league right now, we are with four. We are top four. Okay, on goal difference with fifth. That's positive. I'm going to say we're going to remain in fourth in about 10 seconds when we sim to the end of the season. Uh, hopefully we do, and hopefully we go on a good run in the Europa League. Perhaps even win it. And we finish fourth. Okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that looking at results. Four draws. I mean, that's why. 11 losses, 23 wins. Not, not amazing. That's why I thought we were going to be fifth, sixth. Um, but really good to get top four. Disappointingly, Europa League final, we lost to Porto 2-1. That is frustrating. That is really frustrating. It could have been our third trophy. I mean, where did we come in FA Cup? We won the FA Cup again. That's that's not too disappointing. I really didn't know we did that. Spurs again. No, it was Newcastle last time, wasn't it? Okay, so we beat another club. He probably hasn't won a trophy in a while. Spurs, this is how the side is looking. Again, not too many players going up in raiding. Well, there, there's a few, but not crazy growth in raiding. Statistics, 38 goals, 5 assists. That is ridiculous by Richarlison. Sigankov, 18 and 9. I mean, come on. Come on, 20 goal, con 27 goal contributions. He's, he's just the main man, isn't it? He? he just is the main man. 16 and 12 for Kana. 8 and 3 for Lingard. 5 and 1 for Bellingham. Good season. Good season by a lot of players. To start off season three, we're starting it off with a bang. If you thought Jude Bellingham was a big signing, then this is even bigger. Joshua Kimmich, 125 million, gets him from Brescia Dortmund to Goodison Park, 200k a week. Highest paid player now. We needed a CDM, and I thought, let's just go all out. Let's just do it. Kante, you know, he's in his 30s. Kimmich, what is 28, 28. Good signing. Just out of interest, what are our um, seasonal objectives going into this season? Reach the final. Nice first year in the Champions League. Reach the final. Fair enough. Win the league title. Nice. Win the FA Cup. Basically, win the treble. I'll tell you what, it's a bloody good job we don't have to win the league to complete this rebuild because we've had a very evident start to the season. A draw. A loss, a win. Frustrating. So, only the one signing for us. Where the hell are we? Only the one signing. Kimmich and... Oh, I didn't mention Gibson. 1.3 million going out the door. But as said, that's all the business we're going to do. Let's see where we are in January. I'm going to say we're going to be second in the league. And we're going to finish first in our Champions League group, which we should probably check out. Sevilla, Shakhtar, and Spartak Moscow. That is a group. We have to be careful. I, I say that about every group. I never say, oh, that's that's simple. Because if you got a, a, a Spartak Moscow, whatever that was, and a Shakhtar, you, you do have to be careful. And we're seventh in the league. We are seventh. We are four points off at fourth, which is Manchester United. And we're 14 points off top of the league. Ten wins, six draws, five losses. The main thing, Champions League. We top the group. Nice. Five wins, one draw. Vamos, get in. Looking at the squad. Be Bellingham has been disappointing. Why is he not been flying up in rating? Last season, I didn't have a development plan on him. This season, he does. He's got a negative one, and he's only got a by one rating. Maybe he's been injured, but that's just disappointing. Allen is like 33, 34. He's gone up a rating. Uh, Richarlison is now 90, 88 for Gunnar. And the rest of the squad is... is it's doing all right. We could do with a big 88 rated centre back, but we don't have the funds right now. So season three, January transfer deadline day. We only have 30 million. We're not going to do any business. Uh, I did try and sell Godfrey and raise funds and go out and buy an 88 plus rated centre back, but wasn't happening so we're just going to be stuck with this now we're going to try and push for top four this year that they want us to do the whole title business 
Um, but we have to get Champions League this year because if we don't win it, then uh, we're, we're stuck for next year. But we're going to try and go as far as we can in that competition. So the first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League. Oh, look, they have, they've literally re-signed Griezmann. Leon have re-signed Griezmann. They've kept Awa and the two central midfielders. This isn't going to be the most straightforward game in the world, but first leg, expecting a win, a 3-2 win. Okay, that was close. We have a slight interruption in between the Champions League first leg and second leg. We have a Carabao Cup final against Manchester United. Another trophy? No. We are staying strong in the FA Cup, though. We, we are winning this for the third season in a row. West Brom, 1-0 win. Vamos! I've given you guys a bit of an update, but um, we lose Fulham in the league. Our eggs are really going into this basket. They really are. Liverpool? FA Cup, are we going to go out? 3-0 win. Boom. It, it's our competition. I'm telling you. Second leg, Leon. This is a big game. We're, we're winning by 3-2. It's a 1-1. One, one. Winning by 3-2. Boateng. I mean, they had a decent team. But we go through to the quarterfinal. Inner Milan. This is a much bigger task. Quarterfinal. First leg. Full strength side. Muziala. A little tired. We're in Italy. Come on. It's 2-1 win. Ugh, get in. Come on. Here we go. Massive second leg in a Milan. We're winning. 3-2, is it? It's 3-2. It's We're winning 3-2. We're at Goodison Park this time. Third season. First season in the Champions League. Can we find ourselves in a semi-final? Come on, Everton. Yes, we do. Good in. Ronaldo Sanchez for them. Kerner. Richarlison and Richarlison. Vamos, get in. Manchester City, it is. Richarlison is out with a red card. The City have just knocked us out on penalties 5-4 in the FA Cup semi-final, um, which now they're playing Coventry, by the way, who beat Chelsea 1-0. First leg, we're away at the empty hat. It's a 2-2 draw. Okay, okay. Goodison Park, Manchester City, 2-2 draw. First leg, second leg. Here we go. Champions League final tickets. Bucked because we're making it to it. Get in. We are. We're actually in a Champions League final. Muziala, Richarlison, and Rodrigo. I was nearly going to sign that guy. Who are we playing in the Champions League final? Paris Saint-Germain. Probably the best team in the world. By the way, if we make top four from this position, that, that is insane. We have, we, we have three games to go. So we've got nine points on the line, 73 points we can get. And we are four points away from fourth place, which is Manchester City. After a terrible season in the league, last game of the season in the Premier League, it's Newcastle. We have to get four points, have better goal difference to get top four. And obviously we can only get three points if we win. So we're playing for fifth place right now. Come on, Everton, no injuries. It's a 2-2 draw. So we finished fifth in the league, 60, uh, 71 points, nine losses, eight draws, 21 wins. I mean, last season we lost 11 games, but we got four draws, was it, I believe? Uh, the big one, the big one, the Champions League final. Uh, the Carabao Cup, we lost the final to United. We finished semi-final, okay? Mid City beat Coventry 3-1. Semi-final 1-1, one -one, City 5-4 in penalties, they win. So, Champions League final. But before that, seasonal stat. 38 goals for Charleston. 31 and 5, Merziala. Kind of 16 and 11. 11 and 8 for Sigankov. Been a great season. It's been a great season. I'm very excited. Very excited to use this team. Sigankov, Merziala. Kind of, the Sodi players I haven't actually played with. Oh, Lino Messi still playing for Paris Saint-Germain. The Raddy, Wijnaldum, their team hasn't changed at all so far. Brozovic, there we go, new signing. Messi on the ball, okay, good dribbling. Ah, Godfrey, beautiful stuff. Oh, Inacio, dangerous stuff there. Here's Kana, now Richarlison in behind. Good counter-attack, pass that inside. Here's Kana, I'm gonna wind one up from range, just hit one. Harry Maguire, oh dear me. Neymar on the ball. For Paris. He's going to pull that onto his right. That's it back. Danilo? Danilo? Is that the Danilo who's been like everywhere? Neymar, Verratti, Wijnaldum. Oh, nice. A, a good block. Good block. That's what we want. That's not a clearance we want. Dinier. Beautiful stuff. 
Really good stuff. Good play by Dinier here. There's a gap there. Someone's running. Here's Bellingham. Number 14 on the ball. Come on. Get in the box, guys. Get in the box. Bellingham. Still Bellingham. Pass it in the box. Richarlison. What a block. He's going to hit it. Another block. So far, we've put a lot of pressure on PSG. Pressing with being good. Going forward, we've had a couple of chances. You know, can this please not be a game we win on penalties or in extra time? We can never win a game in 90 minutes. We will now. Oh, dear me. All right. Okay. So, we're 1-0 down. And that is not what we wanted at all. Not good. Bellingham. Kimmich. Here's Kana. Now Richarlison. Nice touch. Good play. Here's Richarlison. Can he make it 1-1? Yes, he can. What a goal that is. The elegancy on that goal. Okay, get this get this celebration gone. But the elegancy on this goal is immense. Look at this. Boom. Just control C, control V. Bottom left hand corner. Just lifts it over the keeper as well slightly. Is Nkunku. He didn't start. I swear he didn't start. Messi, go and get that clear. Oh dear me. What is that? That is me trying to smash the ball away and he slides in. That is scary. And if that volley went in by Neymar, not happy. Corner comes in by Neymar. Oh, oh, you're joking me. What a header that is. That is ridiculous. Not impressed at all with that. I mean, clearance, okay. The header, the pressure is got as well. That's not right. Okay, changing it up at halftime. I've gone 65 depth instead of 55. And um, instead of press on heavy touch, press after possession loss. We're going for them in this second half. I really believe we can grab them by the neck. Messi on the ball. Oh, Bellingham. Great tackle. Oh, what are you talking about? That was a nice That was a nice tackle. Montiel. Oh, dear me. Can you please just put Harry Maguire up front? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. It, it's 3-1. I wouldn't mind when it, winning it in extra time or on penalties at this point. 3-1 uh, losing. Not great. Not great. Here's Kimmich. I'm going to have to pass that back. Why? As soon as I put the depth foot, we have no options. Kimmich. Little pass there. Richarlison. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Richarlison from this angle. Save. Keeper. Frustrating. Corner. Come on. Score this corner. Richarlison. Boom. Vamos. Shoot. Get in. Come on. Get in. That is exactly what we wanted. That is exactly what we wanted. Look at this. What a corner. As soon as it comes in, I know that's going in. It's an incredible header as well. It's unstoppable. Right. We need one more. Get level. Let's win it in 90 minutes. Bellingham is on a yellow card from that messy tackle. That is a joke. That is ridiculous. What is that? Ball over the top. Headed away. Bellingham. Come on, catch. Okay, that's a foul as well. That's a handball block, I'm telling you. Kana. Muziala. Now Kana coming forward. We could go out left. Oh, go out right. Or oh, in behind. Richarlison. Oh, he's offside. I was wondering, why are you not shooting? Why are you not shooting? Bellingham, nice. Kana, nice header. Richarlison, really good ball control. Now Kana. Well, there's a gap there. Here's Kimmich. Now Bellingham. What a game of football this is. It, it's free free. It is free free. Are we playing at their place? We are literally playing at their place. It's why they were winning. They had the advantage. But it's free free. I don't really know how we've pulled this back. But we have. Oh, that's a ball over the top. Brozovic, great tackle there. But the death to 60. I've gone to pressure on heavy touch. He's fallen over. That's given us an advantage coming forward here. It's Bellingham. Bellingham coming forward. Now Kana. Oh, he's upset. I didn't want to go to him. Okay. Another goal, Richarlison. What are we saying? Whipped in. Bellingham, take a touch. He's going to hit it. Rebound. Back post, back post. What is that for a cross? What is that? Okay, we're laid on here. We're laid on. Make that run, Sigankov. We're playing that run. Here he is. He literally hasn't had the ball all game. Harry Maguire. The fridge getting in the way. Still Sigankov. Please don't be offside. Oh, that is... That is... This game. 
He's li my own players tackled me. What a fraud. Okay, it looks like we're going to extra time, folks. It looks like we're going to extra time. Or maybe... Yeah. They, they don't like playing over the like the, the 15 seconds of extra time they give you. But going into this half of football, we're going to bring on Gordon. Uh, who else? Jesse Linga? No. We're just going to bring on Gordon for the sake of bring, bringing on Gordon. It's been a good Champions League final, though. We can say that. Definitely has been. A little lofty ball played forward by Paris. No, they're clearly having possession here. If you can't see. Look at this. When you held them to hit one. Oh, dear me. Ooh, just wasn't good. It wasn't good. It, it wasn't It wasn't on target. That's why. It wasn't good. Is Brozovic. Step overs. Nice tackle. Kimmich. You need to release this. Be a good one. Here's Richarlison. Come on, Gordon. Come on, Gordon. Out wide. In behind. There we go. Here's Gordon. Boom. Now in the box. Corner. That could have been better. That could have been better. We're going to go short here. Here's Sigankov. Sigankov. Pass that here. And back. That could have been a foul, to be fair. Can I? He's offside. Why is everyone being offside? Oh, one minute. First half of extra time is up. We, we Rashford FC or something. What is going on with these offsides in this game? We either win it now or we go to penalties. Okay, God for it. Richarlison looking to turn his man. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. It's important to keep the ball here. That's it. Out wide. Right back. We want Richarlison kind of up front, not out wide. Yes. He's kind of to hit one. What a save, Donnarumma. I went, I went near post, not far post. Corner whipped in. That's a good opportunity. We're battling this out here. Odrazola. And Bergwijn. Maguire. Oh, yes. Yes. To Richarlison. How have we missed that then? How's that not gone in? It wasn't even close. What an opportunity. Okay, we've got momentum here. Look at this. Kana, Bellingham. Richarlison has won it. Boom. Boom. Champions League winners. 2023, 2024, whatever it is. It's Richarlison. Champions League winner. I don't mind the celebration now. I don't mind it now. I'm so glad he wasn't offside and he stopped making the run I wanted him to. What a finish on his left foot. What a Champions League final this has been. It's one of the best we've had. 4-3. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. Sigankov. Bellingham. Now I've got Kana. Out wide. Sigankov coming forward. Still Sigankov. Still Sigankov on his left. Why has he gone with his right? Why has he gone with his right? And Kunku back to the keeper. And that's it. It's over. We've won it. Vamos. I bet PSG still haven't won the Champions League. Three seasons in. And we've just uh, gone and won it at their place. They had the opportunity to win it in Paris. But no. Richarlison? No, I was going to say Richarlison to lift it. Richarlison won it. Here's Kimmich. To lift it for evident. What a rebuild it's been. If you guys have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell on so don't miss a future video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.